very much and stay tuned to the closing bell. We will examine the question of whether Bristol Myers could be a takeover target with its stock price at a five year low. <laughs> Joining us now with his outlook for the market is Mike Sutton, Portfolio Manager with PBHG Funds. Mike, good to have you with us. Good to be here. What are you doing in this market? I'm holding my breath like a lot of other people. I think the uh, market is trying to tell us that we're waiting for earnings, we're hoping for good news, but we're very cautious about the Middle East. We're getting a lot of conflicting results. I mean, Dell came out last night with fairly good news. Bristol Myers comes out today and, and really uh, pulls the rug out from under us. So. That's what we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks is a lot of these cross currents and it's sending all these mixed messages to us and it's uh, confusing investors. You know, uh, I was uh, just looking back uh, actually at my own account, uh, Mike, and, and, and since 1998, the S&P 500 is about 50 points different from where it was then. That's a long time for us not to have made money in the market. Well, we've gone through a period of time where we've all become very spoiled. We had three years in a row basically with 20% returns. And we might have to, to readjust our expectations moving forward for what equities are going to provide. Uh, interest rates are at a, a, a real low uh, point. And when you look at risk adjusted returns for equities, uh, maybe a 7 or 8% rate on equities is more reasonable to expect going forward over the next three to five years. Uh, you said you were holding your breath, Mike. What does that mean? How much cash are you sitting on? I'm sitting on about uh, 5 to 8 percent cash and uh, uh, be honest with you Maria it's been a struggle to keep invested right now because our style at Pilgrim Baxter is to buy companies with strong business momentum and uh, quite frankly they've been uh, the, the opportunities there are few and far between and so I'm selling things that are breaking down on a fundamental basis and having a very difficult time finding things to replace it with and what, what I, what's occurred is that I've uh, had to substitute things that had previously been growing at 25 and 30 percent percent with more and more names that are growing at 18 to 20 percent. Hmm. What, what, what are some of those names? Uh, a company that, well I still own some fast growing companies and one I like to talk about is Bed Bath & Beyond that just reported last night and that was actually some of the good news. Yeah, they beat their uh, estimate, right? They beat their estimate by two cents. So they came in at 28 versus 22 for last year. People were concerned with the linens and things, store closings, that maybe Bed Bath & Beyond would have a tough environment this quarter. And uh, again, what I'm looking for is companies that can execute. And this is clearly a company that executed. Your they funds own it. Do you own it personally? Uh, I don't own it personally. You you buy, you buy your own fuzzy. Was it the bed, the bath, or the beyond part of the business that did well for them? I think they all did pretty well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> their gross margins were actually pretty strong in their business. And they're, they're a solid management team. They have 400 stores. They're going to go to 950 stores in their long-term plan. They're smart operators. And I think that's what people need to focus on in this market. Companies that are executing their business plan and try not to worry too much about the market environment because it's going to be very difficult to discern which way things are going to move. It's one of those short -term. stores like some others where you you go in there and you always come out with more than you thought you were going to come out with. Uh, that's not only true for uh, my wife, but it's also true for me. It I've been surprised. Me I've been surprised how much I buy when we go into a store. We, like that. we can't go beyond that, Michael. <laughs> Got to leave it there. Bed, bath, and beyond. Thank you. Michael Sutton, a portfolio man. I'm in a frisky mood today, Maria. Yes, you are, Tyler. Bed, bed bath, and beyond. He's a, he's a manager at PBHG Funds uh, for us today. <laughs> All right. Coming up after the break, President Bush came out with some strong words today urging Israel to pull back from Palestinian areas in the West Bank. We'll talk to Shelley Smith, an NBC reporter in Tel Aviv. And drug stocks used to be considered a safe investment, but they don't seem to be so safe anymore. We'll ask Jack Bogle, founder of the Vanguard Group, where he thinks the safe spots are right now. And the March Jobs Report is uh, due out tomorrow morning. Marcy Russell will give us...